Hello! So, today I'm going to go through and show you one of my newer projects. This thing was kind of fun to put together. I don't know whether any of you have used macro recorders that are out there for recording like your mouse clicks and uh, simulating keyboard typing. Most of the ones I found sucked. They were terrible. I wasn't able to uh, get accurate clicking. The ones that had image recognition, like you could take a snapshot of a button and then tell it to click on that button, either you had to pay a lot of money for or were very hard to configure and get set up. So I went and I put together a little program called Do It. Um, Do It, is, I used AutoIt, which is a scripting language for kind of like macros, but um, I guess it's kind of evolved into its own little programming language. I used it just because it had this uh, image search DLL and image search script, which was made by, uh, uh, I don't know who it was made by, but they, they released it like this, and say anything about who's supposed to use it or what, but they released it on the forum over there and it, it works pretty well. Um, so this is uh, my script. It, uh, it's pretty simple. It goes through and it, whatever kind of command you want to use, it, it does it. So I've compiled this into a, uh, an exe here. Anybody can use this. And I'm going to bring up the command prompt. So this is this is what it does. So I'm going to use this file. I'm going to open it in Paint. So this is a uh, an image. You can take a screenshot of your computer, and I'm going to take a screenshot. Do, do, do. And I'm going to paste that screenshot in here. And going to crop it to what I want it to be. So I want to go and make a button, or make this script go and click on the start button. So I'm going to crop that. Okay. The smaller the image, the quicker the image recognition works. So I'm going to hit save on that. And now if we view, uh, let's just view some thumbnails. See, there we are. We have our thumbnail. So the way that this command works is I'm going to type in um, do it and I'm going to type in click and I'm going to say test.bmp and then I can specify an offset point. So if I want to just have this thing click right in the middle of that image, I type in 0, 0. If I wanted to have it click 5 pixels down or 5 pixels over and 5 pixels down, I could do that. These are offset points so that you can just offset from the center of the image. And it's great. It works very well. For this, I'm just going to put in 0, 0. And I'm going to hit enter. Oh, I did the command wrong. So I was supposed to put in left click. There we are. Notice how my mouse automatically went down and clicked on the start menu. It also returned a 1, which means that it was successful. If it was not successful, it would, would have returned a 0. I can also use the command type, and I can put in a string here. Okay. And as soon as I hit enter on this, it's going to type hello world. Now if you call this from another program and it's already clicked on a text box or something, it'll send the text to that. So I'm going to hit enter. Notice how it automatically typed hello world right here. It's kind of nifty. Um, there's also a couple of other things that we can do with it. I'm going to go over to my forum post and take a look at the help file that I made. I don't remember what I typed. 
I don't remember what my commands were, but I'm going to go and I'm going to use the detect tool. Okay, so what this does is it detects the, if there's a uh, a particular image on the screen. So I'm going to come back over to my command line and detect. And I'm going to type in test.dmp. So this is going to tell me whether or not that image is on the screen. I'm going to go in there and edit that image. And um, I'm going to change it so that it's not something that it's going to see. Just threw some junk in there just to, to make it so that the, the image is no longer recognizable. There we are. So I'm going to run that again. Notice how it returns a zero. It couldn't find the image on the screen, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also do an absolute X and Y. So if I say click left, and I put in a zero instead of the test.bmp or the, 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 the bitmap image I want to use. And I type in 150, 150. It's going to click at that X and Y coordinate. So I'm going to just hit enter. Notice how the mouse moved and it clicked. It returned a one because it was able to execute it. So that's all good. You also have uh, not only click, but you have double click, which is just D click same exact syn uh, syntax as the, uh, the regular click. And yeah, that's pretty much it.